I'm back, he says, as if there's tens of thousands of people that have missed him for the last six months. Anyway, hi. Message from Jen. Looking forward to seeing my newly shaved pasty head. I am a creative person, allegedly. A lot of my interests involve creativity. It's what I do for work, it's how I earn a living, and it's shaped my life for the majority of the last decade. So why do I say allegedly? Well, since March 2020, my creativity has been slowly eroded away. Actually, that's not true at all. It just hit a brick wall. And it has been so slow to come back. In fact, I think most of it is probably still stuck on the wall. And over the last few weeks, I've got really kind of sort of down about it really and it's about time I peeled it off the wall and regained control of my creativity. Despite this I still do what most people would call creative work on a daily basis. I produce photography and videos for a number of clients. It's a job that I love doing and I honestly couldn't imagine doing anything else with my life. But to me it is still just work. It's not the pure unfiltered creativity that got me into this in the first place. It's not losing yourself in the flow state and experimenting with different things and and just having that creative freedom to try different things out. I think it's that learning of, of new techniques and testing new ideas that really kind of pushes us forward in this creative world. And also for me, being creative just for my clients isn't enough to fulfill me. I need to pick up my camera and create stuff just because. I need to create stuff that's just for me, that's just for the joy of doing it. And over the last 18 months, I've barely done that at all. Like I said, I feel unfulfilled and that lack of fulfillment in life is a one-way path towards poor mental health. And unfortunately, I know that because it is somewhere that I've been before. I don't feel like I'm moving forward with my work. I don't feel like I'm improving or, or getting better. And I think when you get into that kind of mindset, it can feel like you're going backwards. And all of these things together just leave me feeling incredibly frustrated. And I think frustration is one of the, the hardest emotions for me to process. Now, I'm not going to talk about the cause of this too much. If we think back to March 2020, it's blindingly obvious. One thing I've had that's really impacted me is a severe lack of time. And if you want to create for yourself, it is the main thing you need. You could have all the cameras in the world, all the pencils, all the instruments, all the knitting needles. If you've not got time, you aren't going to be able to create anything. And unfortunately, that's where the pandemic has landed me. I am very time poor and... If I'm bluntly honest with myself, the time I have, I don't use it very well a lot of the time. Stop saying time. My motivation has taken an almighty kick in the nuts in the last 18 months and the effort required to generate creative work without a client deadline attached to it just feels insurmountable. Now, I'm not expecting this feeling to change overnight, nor can I expect anyone else or anything else to come along and change it for me. The only way I'm going to change this thing is through my own actions. Over the last few years, I've consumed an inordinate amount of motivational YouTube videos, quotes, books, things like that. And I can tell you right now that they do not do anything to generate motivation in yourself. They can give you ideas. They can give you inspiration. They can change your way of thinking. That They are very positive tools to use. But as far as motivation goes, it's my belief that you're on your own when it comes to that. But it is something that we can change. I do feel like as soon as you motivate yourself to do something, that motivation breeds further motivation. And the more you activate those muscles, the more it changes. Creativity is a habit. It's just not currently my habit. And I think the stats say that it takes somewhere between 16 and 254 days to form a new habit, with the average being 66 days. Now, if I think of that and if I think of adding creativity to my habits that just feels like a huge amount of work and the brain often takes the path of least resistance so it's not going to want to put the effort in to get to that and form that creative habit again so i've got to really look at the best way of changing this for myself and i think there's three main steps to it so the first one is to use my time better to stop scrolling through social media, to stop watching things that aren't of any value to me, and just to limit the amount of distractions that I 
allow myself to be taken away with. I think I need to put creative time into my calendar and actually stick to it. The second one is basically carrying on from what I've just said and it's build that habit of creativity. Just do something creative every day. It doesn't have to be big. It can be writing part of a, a script for a video. It can be filming something. It can be taking some pictures. But doing something creative every day that isn't work is really key to all this. Like I said before, it's just taking it one day at a time until it becomes your habit again. And the third point is to actually just take action. So I, I've basically put these two things into my life previously but I've not taken any action on them the action has to be there you have to do the work and I think what I've noticed is I've been waiting for my feelings to change and those feelings to influence my behavior what I've decided to do now is to flip that on its head and I'm going to change my behavior first and that behavior change will then affect the feelings if I just force myself to do it I'll be happier that I'm doing creative work I will feel better I will feel more fulfilled and I'll feel happier and that's where we all want to be, isn't it? So follow me on Instagram and Twitter, links below to see where my creative endeavours take me over the next few weeks. Also, please consider subscribing because I will be making videos on a weekly basis from here on in, talking all about photography, filmmaking, creativity, and just basically general self-improvement as well. If you like this, please hit the thumbs up button and let me know below. You're in a creative rut. What do you do? How do you get out of it? Some ruts can be deeper than others. That's where I found myself over the last year and a half. But now has come a time where enough's enough. I'm desperate to get out of it. Thanks very much for watching and I will see you next time.